set this table up and our clients come in um, from 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock on Wednesdays. And when they come in, they have the opportunity to not only get food, but also to learn a little bit about how to eat healthy. So we, um, from Cooking Light Magazine, we gathered 12 healthy habit goals and we put this information not only in the bags, but we also set this table up so people could talk to us about, or we could talk to them about how to eat healthy and have these 12 healthy habit goals. Very easy, very simple to follow, and we supplement that with some information on choosing your plate, tips on how to have the right foods on your plates, as well as a booklet, it's about 30 pages on your goals, your healthy plate goals, and it has recipes, it talks about portion control, that sort of thing. So we make those available, and we make copies, and people can have those whenever they want. And then we also focus or highlight some foods that are healthy to eat. A lot of times these are not people's favorites, but we just talk about how they can blend them in or it, with their regular diet, and they taste really good. Food is a big part of this because uh, people, if you tell them, all right, we can grill chicken and give them a sample, and that tastes great too. You don't always have to fry chicken. The same mm -hmm. thing with turkey meatballs. You can use something that's uh, a little more healthy meat and show them that, yes, this does taste great if you season it properly. So that it always helps to have some food to show them that, yes, that you can cook some of these healthier items and, and that they actually taste good. They're not going to be, they're not going to taste like cardboard. Right. So even things like, you know, brown rice, sometimes we'll make up brown rice to go with some of these meals. Um, because naturally, people tend to think that brown rice might not taste as good, whole wheat noodles might not taste, pasta may not take, taste as good. But I think if you have them and you have them cooked properly, and you have some recipes, good recipes, and you've tasted it and you know it can taste good and they're simple recipes, I think that's the trick. So we set these up, we give them away as people, as people walk past the table. We have the recipes from the Capital Area Food Bank. These are really, really wonderful. It talks about the ingredients, tells you a little bit about, and it's in two languages. So that's something that's really good for our clients. Um, I would say that at least half of our clients. Uh, quite a few are yeah, Spanish speaking. Are Spanish speaking. So we have a few Spanish speaking volunteers, but it always helps when we can get documents like this, things like this in Spanish. So kudos to the food bank, because I think that's awesome.